How do I file an objection to a probate petition? An objection to a probate petition is a legal document that any interested party will file to contest the validity of a will or to object to the appointment of a proposed executor. When someone passes away and leaves behind a will, any interested party can initiate proceedings for the administration of the estate by filing a petition for probate of that will. Under California Probate Code 8250, an interested party can contest the will or oppose the appointment of the proposed executor by filing an objection to the probate of the will. This initiates the will contest process, and the objecting party will have the opportunity to prove that the will is legally invalid or that the proposed executor shouldn't be the one appointed to administer the estate. To file an objection, you or your attorney must submit it to the probate court where the petition for probate of the will was filed. In doing that, you'll need to follow the local filing rules for that court. Because objecting to probate and contesting a will typically involves technicalities and can be an uphill battle, it's highly advisable that you retain legal counsel to help you. Who gets a notice of probate petition? When the proponent of a will files a petition for probate, they have to provide notice to the following individuals at least 15 days before the hearing on that probate petition. One, every heir of the deceased person. Two, every person who's left something in that will. Three, every person named as executor or successor executor. The petitioner must also publish notification in a newspaper of general circulation in the city or area where the decedent resided at the time of his death or where the decedent's property is located. What makes a codicil invalid? A codicil, which is a legal document that changes at least some, but not necessarily all, of the provisions of a will can be contested in the same way that a will can be. And just like with a will, any interested party who doesn't like the terms of the codicil or thinks its terms are unfair can contest the codicil's legal validity as long as they have a legal basis to do so. Some reasons a codicil can be contested include one, lack of testamentary capacity, two, lack of testamentary intent, three, undue influence, four, fraud, five, duress, six, mistake, and seven, revocation. Contesting a will or codicil is no easy feat, however. Objecting to a probate petition is a technically complicated process, and the person filing the objection, in most instances, will have the legal burden to prove that the will or codicil is invalid. For this reason, it's really important that you work with a skilled probate attorney with experience litigating these types of cases in probate court to help you so you can present your best case. When should I contact a probate litigation attorney? If you're considering challenging a will or a codicil, you should speak with a probate litigation attorney as soon as you can. That probate litigation attorney can help explain the process to you, help you identify the legal grounds that you might have to file the contest so that you can ensure your loved one's legacy is protected as they intended. Have questions? At RMO, we protect people like you every day. Schedule a free consultation at rmolawyers.com or give us a call, shoot us an email. Thanks for watching.